Then we did a hell of a job, never got credit for that. More people died under Biden, you saw that. And the job we did with COVID, or as some people call it, to be more accurate, the China virus. But we did so much in terms of therapeutics, and a word that I'm not allowed to mention, but I'm still proud of that word. Because we did it, we did that. We did that in nine months, and it was supposed to take five years to 12 years. Nobody else could have done it, but I'm not mentioning it in front of my people, but someday we're gonna have to all sit down and have a little talk. But you know what? We did a hell of a job. Okay, so there's a lot there that's just amazing. I mean, the, the simplest <laughs> stuff to dispense with is, did you know more people died under by? Well, it's been like two and a half times longer under Biden also. You guys, you wouldn't do anything to stop it. You spent mm -hmm. the whole first year refusing to be a part of the solution. And so what do you know? It continued and it was a big problem. And also, I love the cognitive dissonance of talking about way more people died under Biden. It was a massacre. Also, it doesn't matter. Nobody's dying. It's all made up. It's all fake and you don't have to worry about it. But they definitely more died under Biden. But anyway. He refuses to say the word vaccine, Francesca. What do you make of that? Incredible, incredible. Someday we're all gonna have a little talk about it. First, I'm gonna have four more years or maybe eight or maybe <laughs> forever years. And then when I'm on my deathbed, I'll tell you, you should have gotten vaccinated. Like if you text Trump to 6789 uh, will give you a gold coin and a free dose of the COVID-19 vaccine as, as all the ads are right next to him. I just love <laughs> just how cheap and grifty Trump has become. But like, yet yeah. he, he is afraid of his own base. He's afraid of his own accomplishments. And I know that for some, many of us who have, you know, try to think rationally and use logic, the idea yeah. that you would, um, Blame Biden for having more deaths on his watch and simultaneously not be able to say the word vaccine or even yes. say that you believe in COVID. That would seem like cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm. um, counterpoint, religion. That's it. I just want to yeah. say that like these are also people, and no disrespect, but like these are people who simultaneously are like, I am pro-life, that's why a mom should die um, for a monectopic pregnancy because yep. God wants me to be pro-life. Like there is like there's a man in the sky type stuff. You can attach it to QAnon and everything, but like that is what the far right, that's what a lot of fascist thinking is, is that mm -hmm. cognitive dissonance. I've got to be the cleanest sheriff. I think I'm the most honest human being, perhaps that God ever created, perhaps. <laughs> Instead of Okay, now admittedly, they do cheer, but you'll note that even his devoted MAGA base initially greeted the claim that he was the most honest human ever with laughter. They get what's going on. I do think that they trust him more than they should, but even they, Francesca, know that he is not known for being particularly honest there. I they think it's, it's subtle shade it. from the audience. They love it, they don't care. They're, They're just like, the rob lines. me more, King. You know, lie yeah, to me. me daddy. Yes. Yep. Defraud me, Daddy. That is totally, we should make shirts <laughs> that just say defraud me, Daddy in MAGA font. They love that. They, he's laughing in their faces. They are the butt of the joke and they know it. Yeah. They're like, but I'm in on the joke. It's like, no, but you're the butt of it. Yeah, but I'm in. But, uh -uh. Yeah, he says uh, in terms of how honest he was proven to be, I've been investigated by the Democrats more than Billy the Kid, Jesse James, Al Capone, and uh, all of them basically. Yeah, okay, yeah, totally honest. Uh, in four years, there were fact checks done showing 30,573 false or misleading claims. And that's just a representative sample. By the way, you can see this chart of the claims. He just doesn't really <laughs> take any breaks. Uh, January around the the election was when that big jump made. He had like one day where he told like 500 lies, which boy, you gotta wake up early to lie that much. And uh, yeah, this is the distribution. <laughs> He's a big old liar. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube.com/slash/the-damage-report, and you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.